Kirinya Yilamaka Health Services is a community control health services established by the people for the people. Well, the main business of Girinya Yilamaka is to set up a primary health care service that includes a social health program, which we currently run, and eventually uh, a medical service and joining the two services together. Well, we've signed off on a partnership relationship um, in September 2001. We have a partnership relationship with Queensland Health, Commonwealth Health and Yarraba Council. We currently run the nutrition program. We also run the men's health program, but our main core program is the family wellbeing program. In Yarraba, we've been working with Gorini Yilimaka Health Service and the men's group, women's groups, piloting the program over the last 18 months. So far, about 70 people have been introduced. Well, the history of health programs going into indigenous communities in this country is that health professionals often tend to take the attitude that we are the professionals who come in, train you. And then what happens? Once they go, the programs fall apart. The approach we've been taking is that out of the 70 or so people who have been exposed to the program so far, we have actually been focusing mainly on 10 people or so, a core group of people who are dedicated, committed, interested, and working with them, training them, supporting them to develop their capacity to become facilitators of the program. I have always wanted to uh, facilitate programs. I try to develop my own program and some of the topics I implemented in the rough draft were very similar to the family well-being, such as um, emotion, beliefs and attitude. And when that position came up for a family well-being facilitator, I knew then it was meant for me. Well, at first, I didn't want to become a family well-being program facilitator. But after doing all the 10 topics, I found out that I liked it and it had helped me make changes in my life and so I thought that I want to help my people also and this is a good way of helping them. Eventually we'll, this will be gone too mm -hmm. and then we'll be free to cross over. Even if we stumble back there sometime, at least we know there's hope and we can still go back into mm -hmm. the light, you know? The people here in Yarraba, they don't know how to deal with everyday problem and that they don't uh, realize that they lack in a lot of basic needs. Uh, mainly their physical needs have been met but as for the emotional, mental and spiritual needs they are lacking. If the community members also do this program, do the session, they too can change their life, maybe help them realise, you know, that they can change. Indigenous community leaders, politicians and health professionals have been saying that health programs going into indigenous communities have not been working. People continue to be sick, people are dying younger, alcohol abuse and domestic violence, all these problems are becoming bigger and bigger. So people are calling for more innovative, more creative and empowering ways of working with people to actually help them take greater control and responsibility for their situation. Family well-being is one of those programs developed by Aboriginal people themselves from Aboriginal Education Development Branch in Adelaide and it aims to help and support Indigenous community people build their capacity 
to take greater charge of their situation. What I like about the program was that um, it was developed by indigenous people, for indigenous people, um, which makes it much more simpler for us to understand. Um, because in that program, you know, in, in a way, it's it's sort of um, bringing it down to um, you know our level. Indigenous definition of health tend to be different from the mainstream definition of health. Mainstream definition of health often focus on the biomedical approach, that is looking at different parts of the body. Whereas the indigenous approach tend to look not only at the physical aspects of health, but also social, emotional, and spiritual dimensions of health. And that is the approach the family well-being has been taking. I've become more confident within myself. I feel like I can handle most things now. Things that I was afraid to, uh, at first, I always had this fear of taking the first step. But now I've got the confidence I can do it. I used to be a like, woman bashing it down. And, but now, like, with these tools, I've learned to uh, control myself and understand myself and know what to do when these situations are out, they come up, you know. A couple of weeks ago, the neighbours were fighting with my children. Normally, I would lash out and fight them. But now, after doing a family wellbeing program, I stopped, I thought about it, and then I made arrangements for mediation. And when it was time for mediation, I didn't look at a win or lose situation. What I fo was focusing on, everyone to walk out as one happy family, a win-win situation, and that's exactly what happened. Like, uh, head home, right? Um, you know, sometimes when the missus say something, and I'm not really listening to what, what, she's, what she's trying to say. As before, I would just, you know, just jump to conclusion about um, what she was really talking about. But now I'm more. I can. I'm taking the time to. Um, now I can really listen what what the message she's trying to. Um, or what she what she what she's saying to people. New Year's night, a young girl pulled a knife on us, on my cousin and myself, and um, if I didn't do the program, I think I probably would have slapped her around. But um, after, doing the, after doing the program, that I realised that um, there was some other things wrong with the young girl, and that was the one way not handling, so we just walked away from her and it left me feeling good about myself. I think you should come to this program. This program is excellent because it starts to look at personal issues, to deal with issues inside of our heart, and many of us have issues that we need to deal with inside of our heart, and I think this program will be excellent to help you to understand yourself a bit better and give you the tools that you need to make changes. It also looks at the broader community issues and help you to become involved in the community issues that before you don't need to sit down and talk about at home, but it helps you to become actively involved in the community.